Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and this is part four, the final part of four videos in creating a logo from a JPEG, converting it to a vector and creating this logo for 3D printing or CNC. -ing. In the previous video we looked at refining the logo and chamfering and filleting the logo and how you would do that from the original SVG. In this video we're adding the finishing touches with colour and textures. And we're going to do that now. If you like this video, please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel. I also have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community. And that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. The other thing that I'm thinking of doing is breaking these into those sections that we saw before in our original logo and colouring them. So we get the same effect. So let's have a look at our original logo. And that's our logo there. So we're going to split this up into these four parts and colour them the same. Now to do that, I'm going to use the draft workbench. So let's jump over to the draft workbench. There it is. And I'm going to click on the extrude and I'm going to come over here and use the downgrade the selected object into simpler shapes or we can go up to the modifications and downgrade so whatever one of those you want to use when you downgrade what happens is that it breaks it into the solids so now we've got these different solids that are sitting there so it's as simple as that and our strudes disappeared That's sitting there. Now you notice I haven't got any beveling or filleting on there, and I'll do that afterwards. So I've got those four solids there and they are split apart nicely and if I go back to this we can see that we're just going white gold gold white so I'm just going to change the color of this to white and that's fully white okay that and this one I'm just going to change the color of that to gold it's just a nice afterthought. So that's gold. Let's change it slightly. Let's have a look at the image. So I want that. Now I could go and find a colour picker and pick that colour. So I can add those if I so desire, or I can bring this up. and pick the screen color and at the moment can't really do anything with that so what I'm going to have to do is hit escape and just cancel out of that and let's come out of full screen mode and have those side by side there we go come down to the colors shade color and pick screen color and we should be able to pick that one there there we go and okay that so that's there and what I'm going to do is add that to the custom so that's in there as the custom now and we'll just bring that up back to full screen to finish the demonstration Got those two. This one is going to be the gold there, and the last one is going to be the white. So that's done, and I'm just going to add those fillets on there. So I'm going to select that. Let's go over to the part first. Select that, 
add the fillet uh, select faces and select that face all those faces have been selected there and three millimeter on that one and okay that and that's added that there and let's do it for the rest so that's solid fillet that face Set that face go Set that to three and just repeat for all the rest So those are added in there, all nice and clean there. And we'll just come up to the view and do the draw style and have it as a shaded and see what that looks like. So that's looking good, pleased with that. So that's how to create a icon or a logo from an existing logo that's in JPEG format converting it to a SVG and creating our fillets and refining that shape so we get this nice colored shape ready for 3D printing or CNC and whatever you want to do with it so I hope that's helped I'll be doing some more with these at a late date a bit more complex logos that we can use and do the same process with and we can go through the process and find the gotchas and resolve those and get you up and running with converting your logos to free CAD ready for 3D printing or CNC as quickly as possible okay hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon so if you're wondering how I've got the metal effect well it's very simple so in FreeCAD we have something called textures and it just allows you to place a texture on there and I've got it as an environment so I've gone up to view and texture mapping so when this is off you can see it's just as normal we go to view and texture mapping and I've loaded in a JPEG in there and I've clicked on environment so it actually reflects that onto the logo so it's made it like a metal effect and this JPEG is actually just something quite simple it's black background allows it to create this environment like metal effect and this is all <laughs> this is what the JPEG is I just downloaded it from the internet and something with a lot of black in there with something to reflect on there as well so I've got these two here so I've just downloaded that that's a subatomic collision uh, image that I've downloaded if you search it on Google you'll find the same image and that's all that is but it just creates this nice effect on here if you wanted to show this off if you like what you see and please subscribe to my site and also I have a Ko-Fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from, any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.